to the life of T and M. This is a joint channel with me and my girlfriend. My name is Travis and I do videos about eBay and reselling. And my girlfriend, Mary, she does videos about nursing. You can find my videos under T's Corner and you can find her videos under M's Corner. This video today is my last video of my 90 day death pile challenge. I finally finished the challenge. This was a great challenge for me to knock out some of my death pile and also a good way to raise some money. So this challenge was to raise some money for Mary's birthday. We were gonna go to New York for her birthday, but we had to cancel it due to everything that's going on in this world right now. We were supposed to leave to New York next week, but next week we're actually gonna do something else. I'm gonna surprise her for her birthday. She has no clue what we're gonna do. So stay tuned for the next video to see her reaction. So I haven't made a video in over a month. So within that last month, I sold over 63 items. But today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top 21 items that I sold. I am gonna be showing what sold for the least amount of money to the most expensive. So stay tuned to the end of the video, see what sold for the most. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over 21 items that sold for around $40 or more. 19 of them were on eBay, two was on Facebook Marketplace, and one was on OfferUp. 14 of those items were shoes. I like selling shoes on eBay, they sell for good money. Buy cheap, sell high. And seven of them were random items like video games, board games, or clothing. So stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be going over my 90 day death pile challenge numbers. I'll be going over how much items I sold and how much profit I made in the whole process. So go check out some of my last eBay videos, some good information in there of what items I sold in the last 90 days. And I'm gonna be leaving the links in the description for those videos. So the first item I'm gonna be going over that I sold was a pair of Puma shoes. It's a pair of Puma shoes with Ferrari. Anytime a Ferrari or any racing brand collabs with another brand, it's a good item to sell. I bought this pair of shoes for $4.99 and they sold for 30 bucks. I actually had them listed for around 40. I got a best offer for 30. So I took it and it was $30 plus shipping. So the next item I'm gonna be talking about is this Transformers pillow. I found it at the thrift store. This thing was about four feet tall. Um, I paid $1.99 for it. I looked it up and it was going for around 40 bucks. So I picked it up, listed it. I had a, it set for probably about six months, but it finally sold for a full asking price, $39.99 plus shipping. This next item I sold was a pair of Dansko clogs, nursing clogs. Anything with nursing sells right now because most of the stores are closed because of the pandemic. I paid uh, $4.99 for these and I sold them for $32 plus shipping. I had them up for $40. Someone sent me an offer for $32, so I took it. So the next item I sold was a Marshawn Lynch 8x10 autograph photo. I got this photo with uh, a lot of different photos that I had that were autographs. And I kept the other three and I decided to sell the Marshawn Lynch one. It sold on Facebook Marketplace in person for 50 bucks. I paid $10, so I made 40 bucks profit. The next item I sold was these five finger shoes, water shoes. These sell good on eBay, people wear these. I bought these for $2.99 and they sold for $44.95 plus shipping. The next item I sold was this Game Boy Color. This was actually one of my personal items that I had since I was probably in middle school. Uh, I don't play it at all, so I decided to list it. They said, everybody was saying video games or any game consoles sell good right now. So I listed it up for probably around 70 bucks, it's set for months. And somebody actually uh, sent me an offer for 50 bucks, so I took it, $50 plus shipping. So this next item I sold was a pair of Hoka 1-1 shoes. I paid uh, $4.99 for these. These were pretty much brand new condition. Just had a little bit of wear on the bottom toe. I list that in the description. And I listed them for around 75 bucks. Someone sent me an offer for $65 plus shipping, I took that. The next item I sold was a pair of New Balance 992s. I paid $4.99 for these. Um, they were pretty much in great condition. The only thing is that they were missing the insoles, if I believe, I don't remember. Sold those for $70 plus shipping. So the next item I sold was a pair of Skechers Shape Ups for men. I bought these for $1.99 and they sold for $59.99 plus shipping. 
On these, you have to be careful because their soles like to deteriorate. So you got to do the bend test to make sure they don't fall apart. This next item I sold was a golf club. It was a Mizuno 56 wedge. I got this for free from a buddy. We were at a golf tournament and he won a 50-50 raffle and he's a lefty and it was a right-handed club so he gave it to me. So I decided to sell it on eBay because I already have a 56 degree wedge and it sold for $75 plus shipping. Next item I sold was a pair of high heels. I'm gonna attempt to say the name, uh, Manolo Blahnik. I bought these for $6.99 at the thrift store and I sold them for $79.99 plus shipping. Next item I sold was a Mizuno golf bag. I won this at that same golf tournament through a 50-50 raffle. It was a brand new golf bag. I listed on OfferUp and it sold for $100. Reason why I sold it is because I already have a golf bag so might as well just sell it and make some money. Next item I sold was this pair of Clark's Wallabies. I paid a $19.99 for these and I sold them for $80 plus shipping. Things were brand new condition. I listed them as new without box. So the next item I sold was pieces for a game board called Stratomatic. I paid a dollar for this and it sold for $100 with free shipping. If I would have had the box for this, it would have sold for probably $50 more. The pieces were unseparated. It's a rare game. The pieces were for 93 to 94. If I had the box, I'd have got $50 more. So keep a lookout for this game board. This is what it looks like and brings in some good money. So this next item I sold was a pair of Jordan 1s. I got these at the thrift store for $6.99. These things were beat, trash, dirty. I cleaned them up, listed them for around $100 plus $20 shipping. Then it took about a month. Someone sent me off for around 80 bucks plus shipping. So I took it, took the profit. So there's a lot of Jordans that are fake out there. You gotta know how to tell from the real ones and the fake ones. I would definitely do my research before you buy any Jordans. So in future videos, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I clean my shoes step by step. So stay tuned for those videos. So the next item I sold was a pair of Ferragamo men's dress shoes. I paid $9.99 for these and they sold for $100 plus shipping. So the next item I sold was a pair of ATI strength training shoes. I'm guessing these are gotta be basketball training shoes. I looked them up. They were going for good money. I paid $10 for these. They sold for $99 plus shipping. So keep an eye out for workout or training shoes for basketball. They sell for good money. So the next item I sold was a pair of Harley Davidson chaps. I sold these once before. Buyer got it, said he didn't like them. He paid for the return shipping, relisted them again, and they sold within a week. Uh, they sold for 130 bucks and I paid $20 for them. They're in great condition. Only thing is the tag wore off for what size it was. So all I had to do is uh, measure the belt size, go off of the size chart on the Harley Davidson website. Next item I sold was this pair of Nikes, Up Tempos 2. I paid $15 for these. Got them at the local thrift store. They were in brand new shape. I had them listed up for around $140 uh, for about a month. I kept getting low ball offers around 80 bucks. Someone actually offered me $105. So I just took the $105 plus shipping and shipped them out. So the next item I sold was on Facebook Marketplace. This lady hit me up, said she's a M&M dispenser collector. I sent her all the M&M stuff that I had. She picked out these four. So I sold each one for 20 bucks. Price came out to $147. That's with shipping. The profit I came out with was around 80 bucks. So I got these Loa Renegade GTX boots at the thrift store for 20 bucks. They were in great condition. The only thing is they were missing the insoles. So I looked them up. They're going for good money. So I sold them on eBay for $120 plus shipping. That completes the 21 top items that I sold in this last month. Now we'll be getting into the numbers of the 90 day death pile challenge. So this 90 day challenge was really a big challenge for me because I was listing items in the beginning and I was rarely getting any sold. As the weeks grew, when I was listing more and more items were up for sale, I was going from selling one item to two to three to four items a day. So that gave me more motivation to list more items before the 90 day challenge ended. So during this challenge, I sold 119 items on eBay, 10 items on OfferUp, seven items on Facebook, and two items on Macari with a grand total of 138 items sold.
Now I'm gonna go over my numbers for this challenge. I made over $8,300 in sales and cost of goods was around $840. Shipping cost was around $1,300. eBay fees was almost around $700. And PayPal fees was around $214. And that brings my profit to, roll please, $5,242.95. This challenge was to raise money for Mary's birthday. So now that we're not going to New York, we're, I'm going to use some of the money for a surprise birthday for the next week. And then I'm going to use some of the other money for a new laptop. And then I'm going to save the rest of the money so once everything gets back to normal, we can uh, start traveling again. I'm going to use that money to take her somewhere nice. So I was asked why I was doing a 90-day challenge. I chose a 90-day challenge because on the eBay app, they keep track of your last 90 days of sales. So it's easier for me to keep track of the last 90 days on there because it keeps it on that app. So now that the 90 day challenge is over, I think I'm gonna retry to do another 90 day challenge and try to beat the numbers I did in this first 90 day challenge. So here's a screenshot of my 90 day challenge on eBay. You guys seen in the first video, I showed my garage. Well, now this is the last video of the 90 day challenge. So I'm gonna show a little bit of my garage and the transformation it did. Uh, cleaned up down on the bottom with all the boxes. I uh, got some free eBay boxes. If you have a subscription, they give you free boxes, free shipping supplies. These are the golf bags that I have. I listed those on local marketplaces, uh, Facebook and OfferUp. Put bags on them to keep them clean. No dust, so I don't have to re-clean them. I did list uh, some of the stuff up there. Now I'm just using it as storage. So this part of the garage, this used to be full of shoes. I uh, listed most of the shoes, got them up uh, on that side of the garage now. Only have a few shelves of these kind of shoes right here. These are all full of items that are stuff that are listed. I got shoes in some, clothes in some, box in some of the others. And these ones are, I still got a lot to list. This whole thing needs to be listed. Uh, over here, we got some big uh, money items. These are boots, like you see in the last video. Boots sell good, but I gotta clean all these up. This is a lizard print. Uh, there's a bunch of boots over here. We got hiking boots, dress boots, cowboy boots. Uh, what are these? Merrill boots. They just gotta be cleaned up. Pretty good condition. Now I'm gonna show you the other side of the garage where everything's listed up. Uh, this side of the garage is all stuff that's listed right now. I like to box them already, so once it sells, I pretty much just have to weigh it, ship it, don't have to box anything up. That's a lot of work when I'm coming home from work. So I got all the shoes down here. This is all gonna be filled with shoes. It stops right here. But eventually, once I get everything listed, it's gonna be the whole shelf. And once that fills up, these totes are gonna go on that side. And I wanna list more shoes here. And then got random items up here in boxes ready to ship out. As you can see, there's numbers and letters. I have uh, B1 or B1's up here, B2, B3, B4, and this is B5, B6, B7, B8, B9. So basically when I'm listing something, there's a SKU on eBay. So uh, say this pair of shoes right here, I'll put in the SKU B9. So when I done package it up, I'll put it right here. So when it sells, I can see it says B9, so I'll look for that shoe. I write every shoe on that box, what shoe it is, what size. So it's easier for me to find them. This is a good organization method for me. My biggest fear is to lose an item once it sells. So that's why I like to write on boxes and put them where they should be. Thanks to everyone that's been following me on this 90 day challenge. And thanks for all the people that have been following me on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, I'll put a screenshot of my Instagram right here. It's hunting for green. Give me a follow. I've been posting everything I sell on eBay on that page. So that's it. I'm out of here. 90 day challenge is over. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.